Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 12th. It's cold. It's supposed to be cold. I've got the flannel shirt out. Uh, yeah, December. Ah, so lots to talk about today. Uh, got my Phil Rivara pipe here. One of my Phil Rivara pipes with Haunted Bookshop. Look at the silver work on that. Phil just does beautiful, beautiful silver work. It makes beautiful pipes. I, I really like Phil's pipes. I, I, I wish, the only thing, this one is wonderful for Burley. Uh, it's this little pot and, and I just wish it could smoke longer. I wish I could get more tobacco into it. Um, but I wouldn't want it to be any taller. It's just perfect for Burley. Uh, so maybe, maybe wider, but then it would look goofy. Anyway. Phil's a better judge of such things than I am. I, I, I love the pipe. Uh, and Haunted Bookshop. So, a couple of quick uh, prayer requests that many of you probably know about, but I just want to note a couple of things. So, um, the the tornadoes that went through um, on Friday night, you know, they hit Arkansas, Tennessee, probably other places that I'm not aware of. Massive damage, massive death count. Uh, really terrible, terrible storm. Uh, so keep those people in, in your prayers, please. Um, our buddy Cliff Higgins was actually texting me during Jay Mouton's auction on Friday and uh, texting a few others. I mean, Onion was providing some updates in the chat as well. Uh, it was it was interesting. I mean, even after the auction, Cliff and I continued to, uh, to chat. And it was interesting to me to kind of see it happening through his eyes. And you know, I've been in bad weather. You know, I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I've been through uh, a few tornadoes. Uh, one came very, very close when I lived in Georgia. Um, you know, the devastation from those things is just unbelievable. But to live through something like what Cliff had to live through and, to, and have to watch it, and, you know, it just, boy, it, it just, I don't have the words to express what I'm trying to say, but it, it kind of gets to the the challenge of being human, you know, that you have to stand there and watch nature um, do what nature does and you're helpless you're absolutely helpless except for you know your trust in God and uh, your prayer but beyond that you you have no hope so that's when faith becomes really really important um, anyway I digress but for goodness sakes please people keep, keep those people in your prayers and if you're not the praying sort just just think kindly of them because they're they're going through a rough time. Um, the other person I want you to keep in mind is our buddy Corvette Jim, who uh, his wife is in the hospital uh, with, with COVID. She's uh, sedated on a ventilator. If you're watching Jim's channel, you, you would know this. He's giving updates every day. And you know, Jim's going through a rough time with this. Um, if you watch his videos, you get a sense for just how difficult this is. And the good news is that uh, the incredible Miss Cindy is doing better. So, you know, she's, and, and it's a long road. It's a long road. And nobody can predict where that road's going to end. Um, but Jim's traveling it with her. And uh, we certainly wish them all the best and, and send out our, our prayers uh, that they will be protected, healed, and uh, be filled with grace. So thank you for, uh, for keeping those folks in, in, your, in your thoughts and prayers and, and for indulging me in it for a bit to, to talk about it because I, I think it's very important. Uh, the other thing, I mentioned Jay Mouton's auction. Boy, I don't know how many of you got the chance to, to watch that, but man, it was fun. It was fun. I uh, there were a couple pipes I really liked. I had a budget. I, I said I wasn't going to go above three hundred dollars because 
I don't need a pipe and I've bought a couple of pipes recently and I wasn't going to buy them and you know so but I, I thought well this is for a good cause but I got to tell you that the bidding just blasted past me I mean there were pipes that opened at 500 um, and and were well worth it and you know of course it doesn't matter it's it's for the kids it's for the, the auctions that he supported were uh, St. Jude Children's Hospital and um, uh, Shriner Hospital for children you know fantastic causes and Jason did a wonderful job um, put on a great show you know it was enjoyable to watch but you know got together some really fantastic items for the auction and and pulled it off beautifully raised close to six thousand dollars for, for those two charities uh, and 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 I loved the way he did it he actually tallied everything up during the, the auction and at the end of the night he showed that he was sending the money off uh, to those two charities uh, which is you know just wonderful it made you feel like you were part of that uh, and you know unfortunately I didn't get to to win anything in the auctions but I did I did send the donation and I know many other folks did and uh, boy it's it's just so appreci appreciated by you know, by the parents of those children a lot of those children are too young to even understand it but uh, they someday will be very grateful so thank you everybody thank you Jason for doing that and uh, for all the folks that that were there um, if you were there uh, there we go something I, I want to mention um, there was an unfortunate event during the auction where I got into a bit of a tussle with one of the other viewers uh, tussle is not really the right word um, we had words they were short um, I quickly said hey email me we'll we'll deal with this and uh, the person did email me and uh, his name is Gerald uh, he goes by uh, let me check this guy make sure I get it right uh, Peterson Piper 264 and if you if you're searching for that Piper 264 is one word they're, they're all together uh, I'll put a link below to his channel uh, we hashed it out Gerald really nice guy um, he had some beliefs I, I'm, I'm not gonna call them misconceptions because I don't think they were he just felt a certain way about some things I had done um, I explained my side of those things and you know he saw it my way I saw it his way I think we both learned something from this and I really appreciate Gerald taking the time to explain himself to me and and you know that we could we could work this out man to man and and, and come to amends and uh, I I really appreciate that uh, I wish Gerald all the best and I'm gonna link to his channel below uh, he's only got a few videos, but he's he's a good guy. I, I recommend you go and, and give him a sub and say hello and uh, you know let's 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 support the guy because he I, I think he's got a lot to offer. So that's all the, the background stuff. How long have I been talking here? Eight minutes? Thank goodness, that's that's bad YouTube etiquette. You're supposed to get right to the main thing right away. You never do that. I'm sorry. So if you saw that image in the beginning, which made me laugh when I made it, uh, I've been in Hallmark Channel hell, and I know many of you guys have as well. My wife loves the Hallmark Channel, you know, year round, but Hallmark Christmas is like her thing. And, you know, we watch the movies together. I, I have to admit, I've watched quite a few of them with her. I even have a favorite. I'm not going to talk about it, but... Uh, it's not a Christmas movie. They are stupid, formulaic plots with... You, you, you watch them, and, and the same actors and actresses, you know, they've got a, a set of actors and actresses that they call on for the leads, and then there's the, the, the smaller roles, like the grandmother is very often played by the same actress, or, or the... You know the the incidental character, the postman, the um, the gardener. You know they've got guys that'll do that stuff, and then they got the lead uh, 
um, females are, are the, the, the big thing here because this is primarily targeted towards a, a female audience. But of course they got the leading men as well. And over the years the leading men have kind of become more important uh, because it is largely a female audience. So anyway, um, we have fun with these. But when we watch them we, we kind of make fun of them, but she enjoys them. They, they're, they're good. I will say this about them. They're, they're nice, calming entertainment. There's no surprises. There's no tension. There's no politics or conflict or anything like that. It's just good, solid, wholesome stories. They always end the same way. <laughs> you know, the girl gets the guy. It always ends the same way. Uh, but there's something about being able to just put something like that on and just not have to worry, you know, just... And, and for Christmas, you know, it allows her to sort of get into that Christmas spirit, which I talked about last time. And, you know, it's a it's good thing. But they do Christmas in July. So all of July. And, and it's, it's like 24-7 in the house. Like she, she wakes up and bang, the TV turns on and it's the Hallmark Channel. Um, so they do Christmas in July. And then you get a short break. But in October, before Halloween, in October. October, they start Hallmark Christmas and it goes all the way up till January 1st and it is hellish <laughs> I mean after a while I just can't stand it anymore and I'll, I'll just say oh there's another movie coming on you know you think maybe we could watch something else and she will you know she's she's great about that she lets me change the channel uh, Occasionally she'll say, oh, I wanted to watch this one, and that's fine too, you know. So we, we work it out, it's okay, but boy, just having it there as that background, because I don't watch TV much, you know, it's on, I don't really pay attention to it, uh, but it just constantly, you know. Anyway, something wonderful happened this past weekend, this weekend. My wife found something called, what was it called? Christmas Con. Christmas Con, I don't think it's an official Hallmark Channel event, but it's this, like you've heard of Comic Con or uh, sci fi conventions, things like that, where you go and you like stand in line for three hours and pay $50 to spend a minute with William Shatner while he signs your whatever he's signing. Well, it's that for these Hallmark Channel movies. And, you know, they had. The, the list of the stars that are going to be there. And I don't know who any of these people are. And she's like, oh, he's going to be there. I said, well, why don't you go? And she's like, ah, you know, I'm not going to go by myself. You, you, know, you don't want to go. And I said, look, I go to pipe shows. I go to fly fishing shows. And, you know, it's never a problem. Go. Get yourself a hotel room. Go and enjoy it. And she did. And she had a blast. Uh, she came back yesterday. She just stayed. It, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She went primarily for Friday and then stayed overnight, came home on Saturday uh, because a lot of the things she wanted to see and do were, were on Friday and that worked out really well for her. Um, she came back and she's got these pictures. Now you got to pay for these and yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, and you know, she's showing me all these pictures and, and she's with the, <laughs> these guys who are apparently a lot more handsome than I am. <laughs> And a lot younger than I am. And, you know, they got their arm around her and stuff, and she's happy. And <laughs> it's just great. It, it was really wonderful. She had a fantastic time. But the blessing in all of this was that I got a full 24 hours of no Hallmark Channel. <laughs> it was just really, really wonderful. And I think that's the reason this is, this is possible. I think if they just put it out there for, like, regular Hallmark movies, nobody would go. But the Hallmark Christmas thing... They, they generate attendance because guys like me encourage their wives to go so they can watch something else on television. That's my theory anyway. And the cutest thing about this is I gotta give a little bit of background on this and I don't know if you guys know who this is but there's a woman named Danica McKellar and you might know her. She was on a TV show, and I had to look it up because I've never seen the TV show. But she was on a TV show back in the 80s uh, called The Wonder Years. 
um, again, I've never seen it. She was much younger then. She must have been a child actress, actually. I know her because she um, stopped acting, went to college, actually got a master's degree in mathematics. And she's been very involved in edu mathematical education, specifically for young girls. And, you know, I go back and forth with this. I think sometimes we worry so much about the girls' education and bringing them forward because they've been, quote, neglected, uh, that we wind up hurting the boys. And I think that's unfortunate. But nevertheless, I do think there's a mental block that a lot of girls have because they, this society tells them math is hard. It's not something women do. So before they get into the classroom, getting them ready to take on math as something that's fun and, and enjoyable and certainly within their capabilities. So she's written a series of books and I've got one here just to show you the, the kind of book she writes uh, and to show you who she is. And, and granted, Danica is an attractive woman, um, but that's really not why I have an interest in her. It, it honestly is because of this, uh, this, this mathematical background and the fact that she was on Twitter back in the days when I was on Twitter and I got off that thing because it went to hell. But I actually was one of her followers and actually had a few interactions with her over math and, and science and you know she would post interesting things and her, her you know a lot of times you look at especially young women you know their twitter is just look at me i'm somewhere uh, look at me i'm eating something you know that, it wasn't like that at all it was always something uplifting something about you know this girl won a math prize or here's a a, a, a riddle or a, a, a uh, what were the things she used to do? I can't think of it now. But oh, palindromes. She she liked palindromes. She she would do those. Um, um, or you know, a math puzzle. Some it was it was that it was fun, and I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed being able to respond to these things. And occasionally, getting a, getting a response back was kind of nice, and and all that. So, but you know, that's the reason I I'm interested in it. Well, my wife saw that she was there and actually stood in line and paid $50 to get her picture taken with her for me. <laughs> and oh, I love her. <laughs> I love her dearly. She thinks I've got a thing for this woman. I don't you know. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the story of Christmas Con. Thank you, Christmas Con people, for giving me that beautiful day of no Hallmark movies. <laughs> And for giving my wife a wonderful day that, that she really enjoyed. Uh, I wish I knew the names of the, the guys that she was uh, photographed with. But uh, th those are great pictures, too, because she's just, she just happy, you know. It's a good thing. All right. I babbled about that and other things uh, enough, I think. Um, shop updates. Working. Getting stuff done. Um... Greg, I got to get your pipe in the mail. I, I unfortunately didn't have the time this week with work, but next this coming week is going to be much better. Monday or Tuesday, it'll be in the mail. Uh, you might remember I was going to make a church warden stem for Greg Tunnel. I had to give up. I, I couldn't do it. A 10-inch church warden stem in acrylic is beyond my capabilities right now. You know, maybe someday I can, but right now that's just more than I can... I can handle. So I gave up. I you know, waved the white flag and it's going to go back home to, to Greg. So sorry, Greg. I, I wish I could have done a better job for you, but we did our best. Um, other stuff I'm working on right now. I've got a stem project. I'm restemming this. This is a yarn, barn, B J A R N, yarn. Uh, this is for my buddy, Bama Guitar Dude. And uh, he wanted Alabama col colors, so that's what we're doing. And uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look really cool, I think, when it's done. They're gonna put a little little bend into it, and uh, yeah, we'll see. 
that's going on and I've got two folks out there that have been waiting um, on my waiting list and I'm going to contact them later today and say send your pipes and then I will be done. Isn't that wonderful? It's a good feeling. So that's what's going on in the shop. Uh, weather's been lousy, so not doing much outside and hoping to get a little bit of relaxation in today before I have to go back into work tomorrow. But fortunately, it's now just a coast. Uh, I work a half day on Friday and then I'm on vacation and looking forward to that. Hopefully going to go this coming weekend. Yeah, this coming weekend uh, to visit with my buddy Armchair Piper. Uh, Ed, I don't know if we haven't talked yet about timing, but hopefully we'll be able to find some time Saturday or Sunday where I can drop by and uh, drop off Ed's uh, package from the uh, the giveaway last week and uh, hopefully spend some time, smoke a few bowls and, and chat because Ed's a, Ed's a nice guy. I enjoy spending time with him. Um, I think that's about it, guys. So thanks very much for, for joining me today and for listening to this somewhat rambly uh, chat. I just had too much up front that I needed to talk about and wanted to make sure I talked about uh, check out Peterson Piper 264 link will be below uh, and like I said he's only got a couple videos give him a sub he'll, he'll, he'll come along uh, he's got he's got good stuff to offer we'll be back Friday just gonna be solo uh, I don't have a Santa Claus so I can't do an interview with Santa Claus this year that's unfortunate uh, but that's okay you know, well, We'll still have some fun. Uh, I haven't looked at the calendar yet to know if if I'm going to have another one before Christmas. So I'll let you know later in the week what we're what we're doing on Friday. Uh, we'll have fun either way. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Have a great weekend, and until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. <laughs>